Good afternoon and welcome back Western Colorado. I'm Star Harvey standing by live here in my home. Now for you all at home, I want you to go ahead and take a look at our graphics there. As you can see on our radar and satellite this Monday afternoon, most of those bands of energy are carrying on to the north of us. Now for us here into Grand Junction, Montrose and most parts of the valley area, it is too dry for us to actually experience any of that precipitation. Over the next couple of days. In fact, we are going to get those mostly sunny skies and temperatures into the higher 70s and 80s. Our temperature trend here is going to show you that over the last five days, we have experienced temperatures towards the higher end of the spectrum. It's definitely felt a lot like summer, although we are still in the midst of spring here. Temperatures into the 80s. Now, the good news, as I said, is that temperatures have reached the 70s as we move into our Monday. At 6 a.m. this morning, we were even still seeing those warmer conditions out there, 54 degrees. And by the time we reached 9 a.m., we were sitting at 61 degrees. And yes, just at noon, 68 degrees. So all in all, we are still prepping for a warm day here. Our air quality index continues to sit in that good category at a number 46. So that is definitely some good news after all of the fire watches and warnings that we have experienced. Our sun team screen forecast is going to show us that our UV levels sit towards the higher end of the spectrum at a 9.2. For us at home, what that means is that we need to make sure that we are wearing our protective clothing, our sunglasses, as well as our sunscreen, and staying hydrated with our H2O because we all know that it only takes about 15 minutes to feel the effects of these burns. Watches and warnings, we are all in the clear for now, so that is definitely some good news after the weekend that we just had here. Now, our drought monitor is showing us that most parts of our viewing area, Grand Junction, Montrose, Rifle, Aspen, and Gunnison included, continue to sit in that moderate category. Towards the outline of Western Colorado here, we sit in that dry category. And of course, we will have more updates on Thursday as to what this is going to look like. Our HD forecast, we're going to go ahead and play a time lapse. I want you to see about all these dry conditions that I continue to talk about as they move through Western Colorado. We're talking the remainder of Monday, moving into Tuesday as well as Wednesday. And of course, this is going to extend out towards the end of the week, even though our HD forecast does not show those graphics. Today, our highs, 77 in Grand Junction, 78 into Delta, 72 into Montrose, Moab getting 80 degrees. Tonight, we'll also experience some warm temperatures, although they will be a cool down from what we saw over the last couple of nights this weekend. 45 degrees for us here in Grand Junction, mostly clear skies with those breezes sticking around. 45 into Delta as well, 42 into Montrose, Moab getting the warmer end of the stick at 51 degrees. Now, our highs for today, we talked a lot about it, 77 degrees, just a reminder there, no chance of storms, mostly sunny skies. Now, we are heading into our Cinco de Mayo. This does take place on Tuesday, May 5th, and it's going to be the perfect time to actually enjoy some family time, get outdoors, maybe take a step on your patio and have some ice cold lemonade as well, because temperatures are going to be 79 degrees out there, mostly sunny, with winds actually making a calm down to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Grand Junction, go ahead and take a look there at one more seven-day extended forecast. 77, 79, and by the time we reach Wednesday, we are back into the 80s, so we're not getting much of a break there. Montrose, some sunshine, clear across the board, 72, 75, and 80 by the time we reach Wednesday. Go ahead and stick around for one more look at your final forecast. We'll be right back after this break.